We live in an incredible world. And six years ago, I decided I wanted to explore as much of this world as possible, but with the bagpipes. <laughs> In January 2014, I met a group of adventurers in London who made me feel like I could do anything. Now, on my way home, I was so inspired that this idea started to formulate in my mind. And by the time I got to my front door, I decided I was going to be the first person to play the bagpipes in Antarctica. So I burst through my front door, grabbed my laptop, open it up and type into Google, has anyone bagpiped in Antarctica? I press enter and then up pops this photo. A piper next to a penguin on the Scottish National Antarctic Expedition. And I thought, damn it. And that's when I decided I was going to pipe in every country of the world. Three months later, having saved a bit of money, I booked a flight to this country here. Which might look a little bit like Italy because of that massive Colosseum, but that is none other than the North African country of Tunisia, where I ended up staying with a university friend, piping in the Sahara Desert, and meeting this chap here, a Tunisian piper. Incredible. <laughs> now I'm gonna have to save my Tunisian stories for another video if I can find that footage. Uh, but until then, or until my next video, stay safe and make the choices. Interesting side note for you. Turns out there's been quite a few people who have actually piped on Antarctica, including uh, a chap called Jack Kennedy, who was the first person to play at the South Pole. And then also this lady here, Irene Robinson, who is one of my absolute heroes because she's the first person to pipe on every continent. Incredible.